Hey guys, welcome to a new vlog. I don't know why I just sung that, but whatever. Anyway, I know it's been a while. I was dealing with some personal issues and needed to address them. Um, as you know, in the previous vlogs, I've been struggling, um, struggling with a couple of things and uh, self-love and self-care and, and just making sure that I was in a good headspace. Um, and I want to be transparent with you guys that some days I am really not not good you know like I'm not good so I needed to just take some time out to just kind of make sure that I was making like taking care of myself along with being honest with myself and things like that so I'm back with a new vlog we're gonna jump right back into it I have a weekend full of things that I wanted to do I also want to do a Revlon brush blower brush thingy um, review with you guys that I'm doing tonight I'm gonna wash my hair curly hair girls no it's wash day so i'm gonna be washing my hair tonight work um i think i gotta update you guys on what work is like now it's so crazy um so my office has decided to stagger uh schedules where uh we work a certain amount of days from home and then a certain amount of days in the office um so we have a schedule and i'm home three days and work two days in the office um, so I had to monitor things and as the office manager, obviously I had to make sure everybody else is working and monitoring when they're coming in and blah, 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 blah. So, um, that is the update on that. Uh, what else is going on? So I put in coffee. We are, uh, actually, I finished editing it, but what we did is we got a trailer made. Wait, hold on. The ambulance is coming, obviously. Um, we got a trailer made, like an intro or whatever, and a trailer. Um, and so we are waiting for that to release. And that will be on the El Rouge YouTube channel. So def definitely check that out. Um, it's on my featured channel. So if you need to look for the link, it's there. Um, what else? What are the updates do I have to give you guys? Okay, I took out my lashes because once you lose a couple, it is like, just take them off, Lex. Just take them off. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do a little bit of a self-care today, which I'm going to show you guys. Do a facial, do a teeth whitening. I'm going to definitely wash my hair. I'm going to use the blow dryer today. Um, I'm also have to clean out the fridge. So this weekend, I will be getting a brand new fridge. And so um, I'm not sure if anybody knows, but my fridge had been doing some weird thing where for some reason it was like always leaking and it makes puddles on, you know, on the shelves. So landlord was the sweetest and she got me a new fridge so it gets delivered to, to tomorrow actually i don't know the time but it's going to be delivered tomorrow so i'm going to be home for that i also have this big pile of boxes that i need to uh cut up and tape up and put outside that i have been procrastinating on for about a week now um so i'm gonna definitely get that done um so yeah i know i look utterly pale but winter time that's what happens to me fam that's what happens to me but yeah so what other updates do i have to give you guys oh i have been sleep training mason which is probably a little bit of why i don't have the freaking time to vlog as much as i used to because i'm so tired so i've been sleep training mason as most of you know and if you don't know uh you know, obviously we do motherhood on this channel. We do lifestyle on this channel, grocery haul, shopping, um, but most of all, motherhood. So, you know, I kind of let you guys know on my journey, things that I didn't know, things to put you guys on and blah, blah, blah. And the things that I'm going through as a single mother here in New York City. Um, we would love it if you guys click the button uh, to subscribe to our channel, of course. Um, so that is what you find on my channel. So I have a real life moment for you guys. I have been co-sleeping with my son all his life um it was just an easy way for me to get sleep when, when i went back to work um and it's also uh you know i had a really rough delivery in regards to recovering and things like that i had to have a c-section and so recovering wise it was just easier for me to breastfeed him in the bed and things of that nature and take care of him that way because my recovery was just slower than i anticipated it being so that being said, I have coast left and he's five years old. Yeah, I know, pretty tough. So I've spent the last two weeks 
training him to sleep in his bed now training him to sleep in his bed means that he starts off in his bed he ends in his bed everything is in his bed but it doesn't stop him from in the middle of the night waking up realizing he's still in his bed and calling out my name wanting me to go into the room i soothe him and then i go back to my bed he he's in his bed he goes back to sleep all for it to happen again so he's been doing this for about two weeks now so every night he at least wakes up once sometimes it's two three four times a night where he just keeps calling me and he's scared and so i go in there i soothe him blah, 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 and then uh, and then he goes back to sleep so he's been having a rough time kind of you know dealing with that um, but it's been a little bit of a journey so the reason I even bring that up is because his teacher you know he went to school the other day and his teacher was like that he was a little cranky and upset and was kind of rude to her um, and he said oh I'm tired right so she brought this to my attention and I said well you know I'm sorry that he did that, of course, because I don't teach my son to be rude at any point in life. But just so you know what we are dealing with, I am sleep training him to sleep in his bed. And he's quite often, almost every night, having broken sleep. And I think it might making it might be really affecting him and he's just really tired. And so she said she understood completely. Um, and so, you know, even, even adults have cranky moments. So she was pretty um, aware and kind of you know understanding of that um but yeah so that's what i've been doing and so i'm hoping that eventually i mean obviously it's gonna take some time i didn't expect five years of work to be undone within a week or so but i didn't realize it was affecting him in ways in which like he's actually really tired um and i tell him if you're tired why don't you just go to sleep i'm telling you to go to sleep i'm letting you go to sleep and so what i did was i pushed up his bedtime from 8 30 to 7 30 and so the hour that he takes to make all the excuses in the world, which is, I gotta pee, I need water, I need a tissue, mommy, this underwear is not good for me. Like all these little excuses in that hour, hopefully he's in bed by 8.30, like actually sleeping by 8.30. And, and hopefully at least it'll help, you know, making him not so tired. So that's been going on for like two days now. I don't really know if it's, gonna be helpful but I'm willing to try anything so moms dads anything that's gonna help me transition him from co-sleeping to his bed um, I'm all up for ideas guys but let me tell you what I've already done anxiety blanket I've gotten him one thinking that the weighted blanket would be helpful it is not helpful he gets too hot he doesn't like it I got him a nightlight it is in the wall he doesn't care about it I got him a night like that is like a dinosaur because he loves dinosaurs and it's on his bed doesn't like it well not that he doesn't like it but it doesn't matter to him in regards to the fact that it's not me right or someone um what else have I done I have done the whole staying in the room until he falls asleep but what happens is I fall asleep so now we're both sleeping that's not good so I've done that which helped but then as soon as I'm walking out the door he wakes up so I need for him to understand that I'm not in the room and, you know, kind of make sure he knows, like, go to sleep in the room by yourself, even if I'm not there. So that worked, and then I took that away. Um, so I do stay with him for a little bit. We read. I talk to him. He does do the crying still, where he cries in the beginning, and he's like, no, mommy, no, I want to sleep in the bed with mommy. I want to sleep in the bed with mommy. He does that um, for about okay, 20 to 30 minutes. Um, and so obviously, eventually he calms down, he relaxes, and then he goes to sleep. Um, what else have I done? I've done the door open. I've done the door closed. I've done the door halfway open. Um, I've done complete silence. I've done it where he still hears me in the kitchen at least, so that he knows that I'm still awake or whatever. Like I've done it all different types of ways where he is comfortable or relaxed or at least not feeling afraid, but I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing and then hopefully it'll work out. So if you have any tips or ideas, oh, he's had a bunch of stuffed animals on his bed, I, I, all, all types of things. And so any ideas, please keep me posted. Put them in the, uh, in the comments below, please. I am begging you if you have any techniques, anything, I'm open, open. Like I'm telling you, I am open to any ideas, okay. So now I'm on my way home now. I am going to get ready for this self-care thing. 
um and then clean out the fridge because i'm getting the new fridge so i want to clean the old one out throw out any food that i don't really need that i don't want um what else am i doing oh and then tomorrow i have an instacart delivery coming from aldi's um that because i haven't done grocery shopping because i knew the fridge was coming so i didn't want to load the fridge in order for you to unload it or just to load another one no that's too much work um so it's coming tomorrow so i will definitely do a grocery haul with you guys as well um what else oh i have to drop off the laundry oh and then i work remotely on monday and tuesday um so i'll be home so i'm definitely going to vlog the weekend um and kind of keep you posted i'm gonna clean and kind of do all that um so yeah that's what i'm gonna show you in this weekend vlog i hope you enjoy it um and i will see you when i get home i'm gonna listen to some music and i don't want to get copyrighted so i can't i can't let you listen with me because then you know you know but anyway yeah so let me go and i will see you in a minute bye I am home. Look at the little one. Say, Mason, say hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. How was school? Good. Did you have fun today? Yeah. Did you listen to the teacher? Yeah. What did you do at school? Just go for a ride. You went for a ride? Where'd you go? What? Go to the bathroom. Oh, you went to the bathroom? That's really exciting. Um... Yeah, I am preparing some dinner for him. I'm really not hungry, so. Oh, I'm just so tired. I haven't even turned on the lights, so the quality of this part of the video is probably really bad. But I wanted to show you this box here. Let me put on the light so that I can show you. I'm actually gonna keep it just like this so that you could see. Voila! Look at this. Like, like what am I doing? What am I doing, guys? What is going on in my life? Okay, so look at all my tasks. I'm gonna just be honest. Look at all my tasks. I have this, right? I have this desk that I really need to get together. Yes, I have a ticket, don't judge me. I like have to use this wet vac in order to take out the water from the fridge and then throw all the food that is not going in the new fridge, like take it out. And then those are new boxes that I have to do, they're empty. Um, what else do I have to do? What else do I have to do? All right, um, guys. So I'm going to show you what I'm about to do. I'm going to take a shower and wash my hair. Oh, but I wanted to show you the face mask. Now, I'm going to take a poll on Instagram because I have no freaking clue what mask I'm going to do. But the ones that I have left, the bubble mask, which I've done before. I think I've done that in another vlog. I actually really like this mask. This is really, really good. And then I have this one for hydrating. Prim, uh, priming sheet mask with hydrochloric acid known for its pumping and hydrating properties i mean i don't know i'm gonna do one of them okay and then i'm going to do my luminex teeth whitening so you already know my products i have been hard and strong on the products um done same products um i don't really stray away but i am looking for a new skincare because they say that sometimes your skin gets used to the products that you and before that happens i would like to get a new face routine skincare um kind of set so i am in the process of researching a new skincare for that so yeah let's get started i want to do a nice self-care little night for myself um and then you get mason ready as well let's do it weekend has officially started It's a little tricky. <laughs> I hope I don't talk funny. Oh man, I talk funny. Mm. 
conditioner, leave-in conditioner. And that's it. And keep it on for 30 minutes. Oh no, 60 minutes. and I am about to brush do my hair straighten my hair blow dry my hair while brushing it something like that yeah that's what I'm gonna do um so yeah that's what I'm about to do I'm getting kind of tired I'm not gonna lie to you I'm not gonna lie to you I'm getting kind of tired I'm definitely not going to lie to you and tell you that I'm not going to get tired. So we are going to do this hair now. I'm going to time lapse it so that obviously you're not here for like five hours with me. Let's hope this doesn't take that long. And I'll let you know how it comes out. I know the lighting in here is not so great. Um, guys, if you have any recommendations for light bulbs that help with kind of when I'm filming and stuff, like in the house, um, I would love some recommendations as to like what I should be getting um, so that I don't really have to play too much with the ring light and things like that. So definitely comment below if you have any recommendations for like light bulbs and stuff in the house. Um, I'm going to get this hair done because I'm getting really tired now. Um, and I still have to um, take out the garbage, which I'm going to do now because the fridge people said they were going to be here between 7.30 and 11.30 in the morning. Um, so I'm going to do that now before tomorrow because I don't want the food to sit in the, you know, in the garbage all night. So let's get this done. getting hot I was getting tired my arms are getting tired and I mean this is not salon quality in regards to like you know how straight it could be it's a little poofy I feel like I have to like go over it again or even with a maybe like a flat iron go over it again but I will say it's not bad it's definitely better than holding the blow dryer that's for sure so I definitely will just keep learning how to do this in a way in which, you know, obviously is going to make it like better, but I feel like it's poofy right here. Cause I think I don't, I didn't think I got close to the scalp maybe. Um, but I'm gonna keep, 
I'm gonna keep working on this right now. Yeah, because not all the way thrilled with the quality of it. And that's my fault, not this, you know, not the machine's fault, but obviously I want something that's gonna be quick and I can do easy breezy, beautiful cover girl type thing. Um, and it's just a little too poofy for my liking. So I think I'm gonna flat iron it. Um, so yeah, that's, this is what it looks like. And it took me maybe 45 minutes with a break because it was getting hot. But it doesn't look too bad, but it definitely needs some work. So try again another time. Real life moment. I have tried to put Mason to bed for about 40 minutes now and he's still not sleeping. It's 8.30, still not sleep. <sighs> Trying my patience. Mason, there's nothing to be scared. Okay, go ahead, go use the bathroom. Good night, guys. I'll see you guys in the morning. Getting a new fridge, guys. I'm so excited. Look at my fridge. My fridge is like all over the couches, all over the counters right now. I'm so excited, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. New fridge in i'm so excited groceries are coming later look how clean the whole house is i just mopped like oh i love a peaceful house like oh my god i love a clean a peaceful house got mad garbage and i still got this to do but how am i get it done all right so here is the grocery haul that i promised you guys I ordered from Aldi's. Here are some of the products that I got. Just wanted to show you some of the new stuff I got. Um, this whole wheat flax oat bran bread, some grapes, and this coconut almond milk is what I use to make my smoothies. Um, so I'm excited about using those things. Um, some almond milk. I tried this sourdough bread. Um, also got some salmon. I also got this really good, just random stuff. I got this as a snack, some fruits. Um, some buns, some more salmon, some turkey sausage. I don't eat red meat. Um, these are these chicken sausages I wanted to try. Also some ground chicken, protein bars, along with some vegan options. Um, this veggie burger I'm excited about. And this ground turkey. Uh, got these dino nuggets for Mason. Some chicken broth, spaghetti waffles and then i needed to upload on all my seasoning so i got some of this onion powder i usually use adobo and you know whatever but i got some garlic powder needed to try this garlic paste i'm excited about using that um also i need to try this everything bagel seasoning i'm excited to use that on my avocado toast i also got this garlic and herb along with this minced onion and I got this um, pink sea salt, so I'm excited for that. And some minced garlic in a water kind of base thing that I use. I also got these bars for Mason for his snack. Um, and I think that's it. It's pretty much all. Oh, and I got these uh, meatless meatballs. I was thinking maybe I could try that. Some organic pasta. Definitely got some vegetables, of course. Um, vegetables vegetables oh i got this skillet dinner hoping that it would just make dinner time a little easier so let's see got these cauliflower chips so that i could actually have a little bit of a snack so i'm hoping that tastes good these rice snacks are so good and these sea salt pita chips so good i just forgot to get a dip for them but and these white cheddar puffs so good mason loves them so i'm excited and of course more vegetables yeah so that is pretty much it for the grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Hey guys, it's Sunday. 
afternoon. Hi, everybody. Hi. Um, I just finished out a workout. I am hungry. So I am doing an energy boost smoothie right now. I put chia seeds in it. I put chia seeds in it, flax seeds in it, almond milk. Um, this is the one I used from yesterday's grocery camera. haul. Hello, everybody. Okay, I got, I got a toy. Yeah. Um, and so right now I'm hungry. The workout was good. I'm going to keep my sweatband on, um, and kind of keep that on so that I can get these pounds off. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, I'm gonna pick up the house a little bit. Yesterday I did a really big clean, so I'm not worried. Um, and then Mason goes to school tomorrow, so I do need to do a bit of like getting him ready, and then I work from home tomorrow. So that is what we're doing, and so I just wanted to show you what my smoothie looks like. This is what it looks like before I put it all in. And yes, I used the baby bullet because I made my own food. Because I made my own food. It's too loud. It's too loud. I can't help it. I have to make it. So yeah, I'm gonna make this chill out maybe start read it a little bit more then take a shower, shower and then get Mason ready for school tomorrow so yeah um if it looks like i'm tired it's because i'm tired but what else is new, right what else is new? more of an acai bowl so i'm gonna make it as an acai bowl and get to eating because i'm hungry um so yeah this is our sunday so far so good um and i will keep you posted on the rest of the day yes i look crazy but real life real life we're gonna talk about the stuff that they don't tell you about motherhood they're gonna we're gonna talk about it one day we're gonna talk about it one day how about you leave it in the comments Moms, dads, what are the things that they did not tell you when having a little one? What what didn't they tell you? That they would be noise 24-7. Like literally, from the moment they wake up to the moment they go to sleep. Noise. So yeah, let's talk about more of what they don't tell you. Anyway, let me get back to my hot Sorry about the rain. wrap up the vlog now it's monday morning it was a stressful morning i woke up late um but i did get mason to school and now i am working um from home today so i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for clicking on it if you enjoyed it make sure to hit that like button and don't forget to hit the subscribe button we would love to have you part of our internet family thank you so much guys and i appreciate every single one of you comment below um and let me know what you enjoy thank you so much guys have a good day have a good week bye bye bye